I was in two minds whether to film this video or not but I decided I'm going to do it today or yesterday however you want to look it I didn't record a video and I don't know why I didn't I think it had mainly the main reason was because um, I didn't transfer the files from my SD card that I use on my camera into my laptop and I'm very meticulous about that kind of stuff I don't like mixing the files of two different videos anyway all that technical mumbo jumbo um, had a lot to do with why I didn't record or film a video today I had a choice I could have skipped today and just you know started restarted tomorrow the other option was also doing a part one and a part two and then making up for the missed day um, but then I realized I can't do that because those two parts were two separate days anyway and the third option was just to make a video now and I'm doing that uh, I made a commitment at the beginning of this little project that I was going to do a video every single day and I'm sticking to that I'm hoping to still continue to make a video every single day um, there was also Wi-Fi issues as well I mean we're staying at a decent hotel but for some reason Wi-Fi is awful it took a lifetime to get my phone sorted I got some internet today so that's good and I used that to upload um, the catching a flight part one we did our Umrah it was incredibly incredibly difficult which is strange because the journey itself was really really straightforward and really nice but the Umrah the pilgrimage was tough um, mainly because to do the pilgrimage there's you know there's two main things that you have to do that that require like physical effort that's tawaf which is going around the kaaba and sa'i which is walking up and down a long stretch of land it's like a long fat hallway called safa and marwa and those two things were tough um, because there's a lot of works happening in the haram in this area in the masjid most of the entrances are closed they're not letting people also because of covid restrictions they're not letting people in the kaaba uh, in in the main bit the ground floor to do the tawaf so it took an age to actually find you know an entrance that we could go through then do the seven rounds of tawaf where you circle the kaaba and then going to sa'i as well that long stretch of walkway uh, it took an age to get there because most of the entrances to the main floor are, are closed we didn't even get to do it on the main floor we had to go to level one and then do it there um and to you know top things up to top things off the hotel room wasn't ready so we had to wait about an hour for that to get ready so yeah it was very long it took about eight hours eight hours more than it really should have but we're here we, we finally did it i'm gonna do another one tomorrow for my grandma who recently passed away um so we're gonna repeat that process all over again but this time it's gonna be in like scorching heat um we made the decision to do our well the first one a few days ago a couple days ago uh, after we broke our fast which was good because in the sense that we we got we had a little bit more energy um and that helped but tomorrow i'm going to be doing it whilst i'm fasting i want to do it in the mid uh, midday a l you know a lot more people are coming every day as we near the end of ramadan and but at the same time it's a really it's a really beautiful feeling um it's a surreal feeling to be here in the month of ramadan I've always wanted to be I've always wanted to come to uh, Mecca during the month of Ramadan and now that we're here it's, it's it's a beautiful feeling we'll be back to normal tomorrow promise unless some technical problems happen again <laughs> there's a lot of people <laughs> 